With three instances of vandalism, a student government petition, and a task force assigned by the UT president, the Jefferson Davis statue has certainly faced some controversy. But to figure out how all this started, let's go back to when it first arrived on campus. Originally, UT Regent George Littlefield, along with sculptor Pompeo Copini, had planned a memorial on campus to honor Texas and Southern figures, as well as the country's reunification after the Civil War. However, after numerous delays including the death of Littlefield, the full scope of the project never gained traction and the statue was instead placed in a spot on the main mall in the early 1930s. Almost 40 years later, one of the first reported incidents protesting the statue came in February 1989 when bleach was used to damage the statue's bronze medal. Later that year, spray paint was subsequently used to deface the statue, including the phrase, quote, fight racism now. The next year, in April of 1990, after an incident involving racist actions by two fraternities, Tony Beretta, a UT student, began a hunger strike in order to protest the statue, claiming, quote, I don't know that I want to do this, but I know that I must. Fast forward 25 years, where the statue still remains on campus. The controversy again rose to prominence earlier this year when then-student government candidates Xavier Rotnovsky and Rohit Mandalapu made the removal of the statue one of their key platform points. We want to remove the Jefferson Davis statue. That's a weird thing that's still on campus because right. he was racist. It's, it's nice that at least birds poop on it. In early March during the campaign, the statue was defaced for the first time this year. While still campaigning, the two filed a resolution for the statue's removal that was later passed during the final student government meeting of the semester. The resolution noted questionable quotes from Jefferson Davis, as well as pointing out the removal of the statue would not be unprecedented, citing the renaming of Simpkins Residence Hall, whose namesake had ties to the Ku Klux Klan, to Creekside Residence Hall by the university in 2010 after a vote by the Board of Regents. The statue was again defaced in April with spray paint reading, quote, Davis must fall and emancipate UT. Most recently, after the events in Charleston, South Carolina, UT student government started a change.org petition addressed to new university president Greg Finves, calling for the immediate removal of the statue. This effort quickly gained over 3,000 signatures, and a day after its posting, Finves held a meeting with a group of SG leaders. The next day, the Jefferson Davis statue, as well as the statues of two Confederate generals, Robert E. Lee and Albert Sidney Johnston, were vandalized with the statement, quote, Black Lives Matter. Later that day, the university announced the Task Force on Historical Representation of Statuary at UT Austin, with the primary goal of discussing the Jefferson Davis statue. This summer, the university held two public forums on campus to hear opinions from both sides. This should be a non-issue. This should not be a debate. It should have been already done. I went and I served, and that's what these men did. Now, as far as their leaders are concerned, they are to be honored on this campus. However, despite the student government's petition for immediate removal of the statue, the task force has until August 1st to submit its recommendations to President Finves, so there's still more to come in the saga of the Jefferson Davis statue on the UT campus. You can stay up to date with this story and the task force decision on our website, dailytexanonline.com.